Hi guys, what's going on and welcome to Rise of Mordor, a mod for Total War Attila. So I'm sure most of you know me for my Total War Arena content, but we've got something a little bit different today. Um, and I just, I, I saw this on a few other YouTubers channels and I really wanted to play it. And I thought, well, if I'm going to go to the effort of installing it and playing it and figuring it out, then I might as well bring you guys along for the journey. Um, since it's uh, quite an immersive and quite graphical, I thought it'd probably be better off without my ugly face sat in the way. So, uh... You've not got me, you've just got my voice today. But hopefully we're going to be having a little bit of a skirmish between these guys of Gondor um, and some of the uh, Urukai from the White Hand of Sauron from Isengard, which are just beyond these trees here, which we can't quite see at the moment. So let's just have a quick look at what we've got before we get started. So uh, firstly, th this mod is just absolutely beautifully sexy. Um, the, the unit graphics are great and they've done a really good job. We've got all our archers arrayed down at the front. You just look absolutely brilliant. I'm really impressed with it. So we've got all these guys. I've got four units of archers. So quite a lot of archers. Should be able to set down quite a good barrage of fire onto the enemy as they approach us. Then behind here comes our main ranks. Uh, we've got our Citadel Guard, which is our general. Our general housed in here. With their wonderful capes and spears. And classic Gondor helmets. So we move on to some swordsmen. A little unit commander. They just look brilliant. Look at that. Um, but we're mostly comprised of uh, the Spearmen. So the classic uh, unit from the films. And just look at them. They just look absolutely brilliant. Like a real professional army. Just rows upon rows of Spearmen. Um, all ready to take on some Urukai and hopefully win. Although no guarantees. On the flanks, we have a unit of horsemen on each flanks. Um, I forget what these are called. Silver Riders, maybe? Knights of the Silver Swan. Wow. Um, looking pretty professional and very well equipped. They've got, even got armour on the horses. That'd be something nice to introduce more into a Total War Arena. God, imagine if we had units like this. Um, and finally, at the back, we have our monster, our little trebuchet. Well, little, our little trebuchet, our enormous trebuchet um, with its crew who look like they're just about to ready to start loading it. <laughs> it's just sticking his stake in to turn the wheel and bring down the, uh, the great arm to start launching rocks. So, very cool. So, first things first, before we start, we need flaming arrows, of flaming boulders, of course. So, let's get this battle underway. Hopefully we should see the enemy appear, which we can. You can see some of the Urukai starting to march. I think these are, are these crossbowmen? They are. I love how they've all got the white hand on them. It's just brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. What a great mod. Um, it's not been out very long, this mod. It's only been out, as you know, two or three weeks, I think, was the first alpha release. And there's not currently that many armies, armies in the game. Um, and there's not currently a campaign or anything like that. It's just custom battles. But they are planning to introduce that in the future once they've got some more factions in. So that's something we've got to look forward to. These guys just look so badass. Just look at them. <laughs> they are just brilliant. Oh, we've even got some pikemen here at the back as well. Oh, they've got some real pikes. And looking pretty sick. So there'll be a. It's like the Greeks in Total War Arena. So these are steadily marching towards us. Hopefully, our trebuchet should be opening fire momentarily if it hasn't already. What are they doing? They're thinking about it. Are they going to load it? You can see our army from great height and see they're going to emerge through this forest. Let's have a look. Is it firing? Let's pick, pick something to shoot at. Oh, blimey. It's obviously uh, slightly rotating. That was an interesting, interesting manoeuvre there. Ah, there we go. Drawing it down to fire. And they're still approaching in the distance. I'm not going to advance towards... Oh, wow. Look at the miss. Oh no, it's not. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Someone brought it, I think. Blimey. Um, so we're going to go to our archers at the front who are hopefully going to open fire. I think we should outrange these crossbowmen. I think these are these guys in this very loose formation. Yeah, they are. These are the Urukai crossbows. We should outrange them. We should be opening fire momentarily. I suggest that horn may even be that. Oh, yeah, the front rows are drawing back. Whoosh, arrows away. 
Once again, not very many casualties in the first volley. <laughs> Although that did a bit more damage. <laughs> so we are starting to fire down these guys. They've obviously got much shorter range than us, which is understandable for crossbows, because they are not yet opening fire. Some volleys going in. Oh, they've sort of broken the ranks a little bit here, as so they're all getting a bit disarrayed. Just going to hold our formation for now, see what we do. Oh, he's got rich arrows dug into their shields. Look at these guys. We've got our cavalry here on the flanks, which we could try and drive the archers off with if they're going to leave themselves a little bit exposed um, compared to the other guys. I think we're going to try that. Let's have a go. Quickly, if we can try and chase down one of these units. Is this crossbows as well? Oh no, that's Axeman. Oh no! Oh, still quite effective. Not quite what I had planned. Um, let's see these, how these knights get on. Um, I think these are not Urukai, but Orcs, these guys. Maybe. They're a bit shorter. Um, yeah, they look a little less professional. What is going on? Looks like some of their lines are beginning to advance. Um, it might be time to pull these archers back. Retreat! Putting them back behind the lines. I think we want to try and get these horses out if we can. I just have to pop my menu back up. Oh, we are actually being engaged now for the first unit. This unit of Urukai has slammed in to our, one of our sword units. Oh, so knocking back some of the spearmen. Not doing a very good job of holding the ground. Um, our horses are now in retreat. Some of them have survived, although not that many. Uh, these archers are looking dangerously exposed, so let's have a go at them. We can also probably use our, our own archers maybe to bombard some of these. Is that the enemy? I think that's the enemy general here, the White Hand Stormers. Yes. Oh, wow, they've got big shields. They're doing a very good job of deflecting all the arrow fire. God, we are engaged now completely across the lines. Uh, let's try and flank some of these units around. Uh, this is our general, so we'll pull our general back a bit because we don't want him to get killed. These are the Citadel Guard, the elite units. Can be our last reserves. So we're engaged completely across the lines now. Uh, this unit's having a bit of a hard time of it. So they've actually been flanked and surrounded. Maybe we need to bring our horses back. See if we can lend a little bit of a hand. Because, yeah, these units are probably going to be struggling, I would have thought. Which they are a little. Although they've even got the, uh, the banners of the White Hand of Sauron. <laughs> not Sauron, isn't it? Saruman. Yeah, Saruman. To forgive me my uh, Lord of the Rings trivia knowledge is mediocre sometimes at best. <laughs> Engaging across the lines. It's really cool how they've done this for the mod. They really have done a pretty excellent job. They've had arrow fire as well, slamming in. And then they've got the pikemen holding the ground here at like, the back, which is just pinning our people back. But a good job. Our catapult is still firing at something. Well, I'm not sure that's a helpful shot, to be honest. More of a job of killing our own people. Are we engaging across the moment? We are. We think we should be able to win this one, hopefully. Well, we are actually causing quite a lot of casualties for them now. An awful lot of casualties for them, actually. Oh, the rider goes down. So how are we doing on this flank? Which is one of our original problems. Um, we engaged with some horses, I believe. Yeah, which we've got. That's having a bit of success, actually, uh, in holding those guys back. There's a massive blob of people here. They're all, all sort of pecked in behind these uh, pikemen who are doing a really good job of holding the lines. He's stopping me actually pushing forwards there. And these guys are actually on the brink of pushing through. Oh, looks like these guys are now free, though, to flank back round some of our sword infantry. Oh, this could be a key moment, because we can... Uh, now rear flank these guys. Swords of Gondor getting stuck in. Well, oh, they were retreating. I think they might be routing. And they're struggling. They're not completely routing. They're just turning around to actually fight. And they've sort of got a bit over, over engaged. No, I think they're now routing through our own people. Are they routing as well? No, they're just retreating. It looks like our horsemen have about been eliminated, which is a house, which is a shame. 
Our arrow, our archers are still firing, which is good. Um, although there's some crossbowmen there who I'd quite like them to engage. There's a new target. And these guys, let's get stuck in to this unit of heavy infantry, the Urukai over here. My understanding is the Urukai are much better than the Orcs. Um, kind of like the professional soldiers of the of the Orc type world. Bred at Isengard. They, they do look absolutely awesome. I believe these are the ones that like uh, attacked Helm's Deep. Some of our soldiers have got raised shields to protect them from the enemy crossbow fire. Or or maybe from our own archer fire, maybe. Oh you can look at from really far back. That's quite cool. You can see some of the arrows coming in, some of the crossbow bolts there. Our main central line is kind of really bunched up into one central area. We kind of won this flank, but then the enemy sort of reformed back down over here. Looks like we are doing a good job here. Looks like these units have won and are now out of combat. Let's go and attack these uh, pikemen. Well, they're going to be in a bad position for them. We're going to do well here. Oh, that is perfect. Uh, they are facing the wrong way, although they're managing to reform. And they get in amongst them. I, I wish I kind of needed to push into them probably a little bit more because they've now formed up into a squad, which is going to make it harder for us, I think. Let's try and keep the pressure on these guys. Uh, so we could commit our general, actually. Maybe we should be doing that. Well, let's bring him around a bit more on the flat. Now let's go for these pikes, actually, with our general. That's a good idea. Let's go over there. Uh, some of these archers are finished, so let's just reinforce the line. Now they're out of shots. Um, and they're just taking fire over here, so let's move over this direction. And maybe they can go and get in engaged in this fight here. Some of these Arakai are actually wavering and in retreat now. Oh, well, those pikemen have gone as well. That is exactly what we want. Um, although we could maybe think about starting to chase off some of these crossbowmen. They're causing us quite a few problems. Looks like this guy is out of ammunition. So if they're committing their crossbows, we'll commit our archers. Should have drawn swords, which they have. They don't have a shield, but they're still pretty, pretty competent soldiers, and they've still got a good amount of armour on them, even for archers. Stuck into that engagement. Yeah, we're going to win this one, I think. We're much more professional. Professional soldiers. Well, we're actually now getting some more Okai coming in in our flank. Could be interesting, but it looks like these guys are starting to rout. Um, although some of them are reformed already, look, but we're going to be rear or side flanked here by the Urukai. Urukai swordsman. Could change things a little bit. Up here we've still got a big blob in the centre, but by and large we're doing quite well. And looks like we are starting to win here because we're now into the side of this pipe formation and we're getting round behind them, so they're not going to be able to win this one. They'll soon route, I should have think. I think this one is coming into our bag now. We're going to win this. Um, these guys are having a bit of a hard time chasing those uh, uh, heavy crossbows, but these guys look like they've just about ran out of ammunition. Let's chase down those crossbowmen. They might fight us now. Uh, how goes this battle? Very tight. Quite a lot of casualties, but they seem to be holding their ground relatively well. And we've still got another unit to commit. Maybe we should commit this other unit, yeah, to the side of these Urukai here. Look at that, they are now starting to rout all of them. Let's try and reform up some semblance of professionalism. It's just slaughter everywhere on the battlefield. It just looks absolutely fantastic, I must say. It's just, what an epic mod. Still one, one soldier resisting. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Looks like they're going to start retreating there. Um, who else have we still got who is resisting us? We've got uh, some Urukai there in quite good health, actually, for a unit. Still got uh, sort of two thirds of its men remaining. Well, they are looking very tired now. Their heads hung with <laughs> tiredness. Oh, they are routing. They've routed, and that has secured us victory. Excellent, exactly what we wanted. We've routed the forces of uh, Isengard and secured victory. How many casualties did we take? We lost almost a thousand men, although they're two and a half thousand, so we could have won this with a smaller force. 
Even our catapult managed to survive. I don't think any of the catapult crew took any casualties. Excellent. Let's go and have a look at the battle stat screen. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Just before we go, I'll have one last look up from the top at the amount of dead people. Particularly along this line where I made my fight. Um, and some of the archers in the fields as well where the people got cut down on the way in. That is pretty epic. Yeah, I really enjoyed this game. I've been having a few battles, trying different combinations and things. Um, and plan to try and do a few more as well. I know you can sort of get other things like different maps. Um, yeah, maybe it'd be kind of cool to have some uh, Lord of the Rings maps like the Black Gate or uh, maybe Helm's Deep or Minas Tirith or something like that. You could fight it on, it would be pretty cool. Uh, you can maybe also start to have a look at things like siege battles and stuff like that. Maybe if some of my subscribers want to join in, we could have a uh, make this a bit of a multiplayer event. Which would probably make it better for recording because we would not just be fighting the computer, we'd be fighting other real people. Uh, so that's maybe something we could look at in the future. Let's go and have a quick look at the end screen and see about casualties. So we lost uh, about 750 men, it's not too bad considering they uh, received 1900 losses. So it goes to show how good quality the troops of Gondor are uh, compared to the enemy. Our trebuchet uh, did nothing, nine, they managed to kill nine people. <laughs> Some of our knights did quite well, 211 from these uh, knights here, it must have been when they got in and amongst uh, those enemy crossbowmen. Our archers also seem to do a pretty good job of causing casualties and the rest of the troops sort of just held the line, did a reasonable job, good their job there. How did they get on? Oh, some of their, oh that unit of crossbows did quite well. Some of their uh, Urukai pikes actually really didn't do a lot of damage. I think they kind of held us in place, but perhaps they just didn't have enough penetration damage or something like that to actually kill many of our units. Most of their casualties um, kills seem to have come from the actual Urukai infantry themselves. And their general did a little bit of damage as well. So hopefully you have enjoyed this. Um, something a little bit different. We'll mostly be continuing to do um, Total War Arena content, but um, I still enjoy doing a few bits of other Total War content and stuff that's a bit different as well. We'll certainly also be taking a look at uh, Thrones of Britannia when that comes out in May. We'll probably be having a few other battles on this mod um, and maybe some of the other Total War mods as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please, please, please give the video a like. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you like to see more of this? Um, yeah, I didn't put my face in because I thought it would sort of ruin the immersion, but maybe you enjoy looking at my face. Not many people do, but you never know. You might. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I shall see you all on the next video.